Hello guys, how are you today? My name is Abdullah Zahwan from Indonesia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Wow, Google Developers YouTube channel just announced several new features. One of which caught my attention is the following new feature. After a successful time in beta, Google Fonts for Flutter version 1.0.0 is now ready for prime time use on Android, iOS, web and macOS. Google Fonts enables you to easily experiment with and use any of the fonts from fonts.google.com in your app. We've minimized the work needed to pre-bundle a font and also kept it compatible with dynamic font loading, so you don't have to change your code if you decide to pre-bundle. Check out the Getting Started Guide to learn how to include fonts in your app via textiles or text themes. So beforehand, if we use custom fonts, even Google Fonts, we have to declare it in assets, and now we can use Google Fonts directly from our style without download or save in our assets folder. Let's try the update feature. First of all, I want to say sorry for my English is not good. So if the word I use are incorrect, please help me to point out. So right now, we are going to try new features or new package in Flutter project. So that is Google Fonts. So this is my previous project or my existing project. And in this project, I use Google Fonts. But in this project, when I use Google Fonts, I store my fonts inside our assets folder, which is right here. And we need to declare our font in PubSpec YAML. Look like this. So to use Google Fonts inside our Flutter project, firstly, we need to open the package. So let's open the browser. So this is the Google Fonts package and we can see pub.dev slash Google Fonts and how do we installing this and just press this and we need to copy this and back to our Android Studio again and go to PubSpec YAML and I want to make it still exist. So we go to our dependencies and below our previous dependencies, which is Flutter SVG, we paste Google Fonts and like the before, we need to pop get, just press it. So as we can see, process finish with exit code zero, it means we have successfully called the package. All right, so close this and let's see the documentation. So we see on readme. So as we can see, the Google Fonts package for Flutter allows you to easily use any of the 977 fonts and their variants from fontsgoogle.com. So we can see this is all Google Fonts. We can choose fonts we want to use in our Flutter project easily. So getting started, the important thing is this and how do we use Google Fonts? as simply like this. We can directly call Google Fonts in our style or we can use like this or like this and much more. So firstly, we need to import this and back to our Android Studio again and paste right here. And as we can see in the previous I use card view and I make it as variable and I assign my variable with text style. All right. So this is my style for my card widget. So I use Montserrat regular, font size 14, blah, 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 and much more. So I think we need to create or I want to make it to be comment. And I need to create new variable. We name it as like the before and I assign with Google Fonts. And then let's say I want to use Montserrat and inside this, we can use many properties such as font size. Let's say I use 14 and like the before we use comma and then we call another properties such as color and we use color and from RGBO and like the before and comma again and let's say for the font family 
we can see on the documentation again and we scroll to the bottom and we see font weight 100 thin and for the biggest 900 is black so regular is 400 so we back to under studio again and we set font weight and we say font weight dot 400 all right and let's restart and as we can see still same and let's change the font weight to be let's say 900 it means this is semi bold and restart again and now my fonts semi bold as simple as that so we can call google fonts directly for our style all right so we can see on the documentation we can use look like this uh, or we can use get font and much more so you can check in the documentation how do we use google fonts in our flutter project all right so i think that's enough my video today if you have any questions or comment write it down on the comment field thanks so much and see you again on the next video